everyone, I'm Philvera and today I'll talk about lingua francas. Many areas of the world are populated with people who speak diverse languages. When people with different native languages, different um, cultures live together, they desire social or commercial communication. And in these cases, one language is often used by common agreement. Such a language is called a lingua franca. In medieval times, a trade language based largely on the language that became modern Italian and Provencal. 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 I think it's Provencal. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's something like Provencal. Yes. Anyway, that language was called lingua franca. And then this term was generalized to other languages similarly used, so any language can be a lingua franca. You know, English has been the lingua franca of the whole world as it is used at business meetings, at international conferences, and so on. But in history, if we look at the history, we'll see that French was, at one time, was uh, the lingua franca of diplomacy. Russian is still the lingua franca of the countries of the former Soviet Union. Latin was the lingua franca of the Roman Empire of Western Christendom for a millennium, just as Greek, my native language, was also a lingua franca of Eastern Christendom. East Africa is populated by hundreds of villages, each speaking its own language, but most Africans know that they should learn Swahili, some Swahili, if they want to get involved in trade market, if they want to do business, they just know some, they just have to know some Swahili because it's the lingua franca of Eastern Africa. I also know some Swahili, I know how to say my name, I think it's, it was something like Dinalangu Maita Theodora, I hope it's not wrong. You know, in different parts of the world, there are still different lingua francas and many of them arise naturally, but some of them might be, uh, be instituted by government policies. I think this China can be an example for this. In many parts of the world, however, there are still people who can't communicate with their neighbors. Although they share the same geographical place, they just can't communicate. And this is insane. They don't share a lingua franca. And I think it's all about politics and... I just, it's some, I don't talk about politics, I talk about linguistics, but, but still political things influence linguistics, so yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video, I hope you liked it, and if you know more things about lingua franca, please comment below, I'd be really happy to read your comments about lingua franca and linguistics in general. Thank you so much, see you!